8. Transport in plants. The xylem vessels in the veins carry water and mineral ions up the stem to the leaves. The phloem in the veins carries food, sucrose and amino acids, up or down the stem to wherever it is needed. The position of xylem and phloem in the root and shoot helps the stem to withstand sideways bending and the root to resist pulling forces. Xylem vessels have a structure that adapts them to carry water. The root hairs make very close contact with soil particles and are the main route by which water and mineral salts enter the plant. The large surface area provided by root hairs increases the rate of absorption of water, osmosis, and mineral ions, active transport. Water travels through the plants through root hair cells, root cortex cells, xylem, and mesophyll cells. The pathway of water through a plant can be traced using a suitable stain. Transpiration is the loss of water vapor from leaves. Water vapor diffuses out of the leaf through the stomata. The rate of transpiration is affected by wind speed, temperature, and also humidity. The large surface area provided by cell surfaces, interconnecting air spaces and stomata in the leaf encourages water loss. The mechanisms by which water moves upwards in the xylem are root pressure, capillary action, and transpiration pull. Wilting occurs when the volume of water vapor lost by leaves is greater than that absorbed by roots. Translocation is the movement of sucrose and amino acids in phloem from sources to sinks. Sources are the parts of plants that release sucrose or amino acids. Sinks are the parts of plants that use or store sucrose or amino acids. Some parts of a plant can act as a source and a sink at different times. Transpiration is the evaporation of water from the mesophyll cells of the leaves, driving the transpiration stream. Translocation is the transport of the products of photosynthesis around the plant. The transpiration stream takes place in the xylem and translocation in the phloem. Transpiration cools the leaves and the transpiration stream provides the plant with water for photosynthesis and turgidity and carries mineral ions. Translocation provides products of photosynthesis to tissues that cannot photosynthesize, places where food is stored, or tissues that have a high demand for energy. Root hairs provide a large surface area for uptake of water and mineral ions. Water enters the roots by osmosis, passing across the cortex of the root and into the xylem down a gradient of water potential. Transpiration at the spongy mesophyll produces transpiration pull, which drives movement in the transpiration stream. Xylem vessels are hollow, dead cells with lignified cell walls. They are adapted to transport water through the plant under a negative pressure. Xylem and phloem are arranged in vascular bundles in the periphery of a young herbaceous stem. The rate of transpiration is increased by low humidity, moving air, high temperatures, and high light intensity. Uptake of water by a leafy shoot can be measured by placing it in a potometer. Stomata are present in the lower epidermis of leaves. They are opened and closed by changes in turgidity of the guard cells due to the entry or exit of water by osmosis. IGCSE and O-Level Smart Biology M. Rashid Chatha 03046104475 Guard cells become turgid in the light, opening the stomata. They become flaccid in the dark, closing the stomata. Phloem sieve tubes are living cells with cytoplasm but no nucleus. They carry out translocation. Keywords, vascular bundles, translocation, xylem, phloem, stomata, guard cells, root hair, endodermis, root pressure, potometer, wilting, water conservation ions, active transport, transpiration, apoplast, pathway, symplast, pathway. Glossary. Capillarity, the force that draws water upwards through narrow spaces, such as those between particles of soil. Guard cells, crescent-shaped cells in the epidermis of plants which surround and control the diameter of stomatal pores, stomata. Phloem, a plant tissue that transports the products of photosynthesis from the leaves to the growing points and food storage organs. It consists mainly of sieve tubes and companion cells. Vascular system, a plant xylem and phloem tissues. Vein, a plant's a strand of xylem and phloem tissue in a leaf. 
Xylem, a plant tissue which transports water and dissolved minerals from the soil toad leaves, and also supports the softer plant tissues. It consists of xylem vessels and fibers. Cambium, a region of unspecialized cells between the xylem and phloem of many vascular bundles. Cell division in the cambium produces new vascular tissue and increases the diameter of the stem. Lignin. A hard rigid substance which forms in the walls of cells which make up xylem tissue. Transpiration, evaporation of water from plant cells and out of their stomata. Translocation, in general, the movement of substances within a plant. More often used to describe the movement of sugar through phloem. Vascular bundle, strand of xylem and phloem tissues running from the roots into the leaves. It transports food and water throughout the plant and supports the softer tissues. Short MCQs with answers. 1. The arrows show the movement of substances from the soil into a root hair cell. Which substances move from the soil into the root hair cell? Water and mineral ions too. By which process does water escape from stomata in the leaves? Diffusion. IGCSE and O Level Smart Biology M, Rashid Chatha O 304610-04573. Which row shows the functions of xylem and phloem? For, what is the effect on a plant of not having any root hairs? The plant absorbs less water from the soil. 5. Which pathway is taken by water through a plant? 6. Which row shows the transpiration rate for the conditions described? 7. A stem was cut from a plant. The base of the stem was placed into a beaker containing water and a red stain for two hours. The diagram shows a cross-section of the plant stem. In which tissue will the red stain be found and what is the name of the tissue? 8. Which pair of processes causes transpiration in plant leaves? 9. Which conditions result in the highest rate of transpiration from a plant? 10. Root hairs take in water and ions from the soil. Which table shows the correct concentrations of water and ions in the root hair? IGCSE and O Level Smart Biology M, Rashid Chatha O 304610457. 11. A herbaceous plant, growing in a nutrient solution, is placed in a well-lit container. Humid air is passed through the container. The diagram shows a section through a part of the plant. The speeds of movement of the fluids in tissues are and s are measured. The humid air is then replaced by dry air and the speeds of movement of the fluids are measured again. Which effect? Does the change to dry air have on the measurements? 12. Translocation occurs in flow and tube. Aphids feed on the contents of flow and tubes. What type of food would be lacking in their diet? Fat 13. On a dry, sunny day, how does water vapor move through the stomata of leaf? Out of the leaf by diffusion 14. In which order does water pass through these structures in a plant? Root hair xylem mesophyll 15. Which pair of substances is transported in the phloem? Amino acids and sucrose 16. What is transported in the phloem and what is the direction of transport? Sucrose, down and up 17. What is not a use of water by plants? Dissolving cellulose in walls 18. What is carried by the xylem? Mineral ions 19. A decrease in which factor normally causes transpiration rate to increase? Humidity 20. What will not affect the rate of transpiration? Rate of respiration 21. What is a function of flow M? Translocation 22. Some liquid is collected from the xylem in the stem of a plant. What is present in the liquid? Inorganic ions. 23. From which part of a leaf does most water evaporate during transpiration? The spongy mesophyll cells 24. By which process is water lost from a leaf? Diffusion 25. Which process is used to transport sucrose from the leaf of a plant to its flowers? Translocation 26. Which substance is moved by translocation in a flowering plant? Amino acids 27. A celery stalk was placed in a beaker which contained a red stain. 
After 24 hours, the red stain appeared at the top of the celery stalk. Which structure stained red? Xylem 28. In what form does a plant absorb and lose water? Absorbs, liquid and loses, vapor 29. Which words correctly complete the following sentence? Transpiration is the, 1. Or water at the surface of the, 2. Cells followed by the, 3. Of water vapor from the plant, 4. 1. Evaporation, 2. Mesophyll, 3. Loss and 4. Leaves 30. Which statements about plant transpiration are correct? Plants transpire most when, light intensity is high and plants transpire least when, air is humid. 31. The diagram shows the pathway of water from the soil through a plant, soil X, Y, Z. Mesophyll cells. Which cells are represented by X, Y, and Z? X, root hair cells, Y, cortex cells, and Z, xylem 32. Which processes are used by root hairs to take up ions and water? Ion uptake, active transport and water uptake, osmosis 33. A plant shoot is placed in a solution of a dye. The dye moves up the stem. Under which conditions will the dye move slowest? Temperature, low and humidity, high 34. Which changes in atmospheric conditions can cause a plant to wilt? IGCSE and O Level Smart Biology M, Rashid Chatha 0300461 Humidity, decrease and temperature, increase 35. A student is investigating the effect of temperature on the rate of transpiration. Which environmental conditions should be kept constant during this investigation? Humidity, light intensity, temperature, X and wind speed, 36. What contributes to the wilting of plant leaves? The mesophyll cells lose turga. 37. Which statement describes transpiration? Evaporation of water from mesophyll cells and its loss through the stomata. 38. Under which set of conditions will the transpiration rate of a well-watered plant be faster? A hot, dry windy day 39. During transportation in plants, water is moved from which organ to which organ? Water from roots to leaves 40. Which of the following environmental condition would cause rapid transpiration? Dry air, bright light and warm temperature 41. During translocation in plants, which substance is moved in which direction? Sucrose from leaves to roots. 42. What shows how the rate of transpiration changes when conditions in the atmosphere change? Reduced wind decreases and increased humidity decreases 43. Water and ions can reach the xylem of a plant root through cell walls, without passing through a cell membrane. How do these substances move through the cell walls? Water, diffusion, ions, diffusion 44. Which effects will an increase in temperature and an increase in humidity have on the transpiration rate of a plant? With increased temperature, increases and with increased humidity, decreases 45. Which substances are transported in the phloem and which in the xylem? Phloem, sugar, xylem, water 46. What are the functions of the colon? Water absorbed, yes, enzyme secreted, number 47. What is a function of each of these types of plant cell? Phloem cells, sugar transport, root hair cells, ion uptake.